What, you were a history major at Dartmouth, right? I was. What made you want to go into journalism? Um, I didn't know what I wanted to do after college. And um, I was on a, you know, it's weird because I was, I was actually the editor of my high school paper um, and then I went to college and I just, I did a comic strip in the school paper. And then I, that's kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a cartoonist. That didn't work out. Um, and uh, I don't know, I just kind of like, I was in my 20s and I didn't know what I wanted to do. Which, by the way, for college kids, I have so much advice for the college kids. Yeah, you need to ask where, me. That's where we're going. So, okay. So, um, one of the things I wanted to say for the college kids is it's okay if you don't want to know what you want to do right after graduation. Like, I did not become a full-time journalist until I was, like, 29. So, like, do, just because there are friends of yours that are like, going to law school or going to business school or going to med school, it's okay. You can figure it out in your 20s. You can, like, I mean, you have to get a job. You have to, like, pay bills and stuff. But, like... Like, Says the parent of teenagers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, yeah. you don't get to live in your parents' house. But, but, um, <laughs> but it's okay to, like, figure it out. Like, give yourself some grace. You don't have to know everything at 22. Anyway, um, I was on a ski trip. I was, like, working in PR or something. I, whatever, one of those stupid jobs. And, and um, <laughs> for not, if you want to be in PR, great. But, like, I was just, like, an idiot, like, account executive. I don't even know what I was doing and literally sleeping under my desk um, before George Costanzas did it. And, uh, um, and uh, uh, I was on a ski trip and, a, and the friend, a friend of people on the ski trip had just written an article in the New Republic. And it was like a light bulb went off in my head like, oh, like people- Do this for a living? Can just do this. Yeah. You don't actually like, you can just like hand in a, an article and like write freelance articles if you have an idea. So I started writing freelance articles. And it was fun. Like you could come up with an idea like, and then it just became a thing like, oh, how come somebody hasn't written this story? How come somebody hasn't written that story? And I started just like coming up with ideas and I was one of those annoying people that had a notebook with me at all times and like writing ideas. It's not an annoying characteristic. It's, it, is, it was with the goatee and the, uh, <laughs> and the American spirit cigarettes. But just trust me, it was annoying. Um, yeah. And. Uh, Anyway, and then eventually I had enough of them that Washington City Paper was like, hey, do you want to work for us full time? And that's how it happened. The Washington City Paper was the creator of many fantastic... David Carr was the legendary careers. editor at the time. Yeah. He has since passed away, but he was, he was the guy that hired me. And that's, but that's how it all happened. It was just like coming up with interesting ideas and like stumbling on weird stories and thinking, oh, this could be fun and just pitching them. And this is the second lesson, which is... Uh, especially for aspiring journalists, and I told the three lovely people with the student newspaper this already, but like for anybody in their 20s about to graduate from college, probably good advice even if you're not going into journalism. Rejection is like a big part of being an adult. And like I don't think anybody told me this ever. And like I just want you to be prepared for it. Like you're, like no one tells you this, right? You're like in high school and like you get really good grades. I assume that's how you ended up at Michigan. And uh, then you're in college and like people are like, working, like people are like providing you with birth control. I mean like, you know, every need of yours is taken care of here. Uh, again, I assume. And um, <laughs> I hope. And um, then you go out in the real world and like people are like, no, 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 no. And like, I just remember in my 20s, like, all this rejection, and I hadn't, except for my prom date, nobody had ever, re <laughs> nobody had ever rejected me before. I'm sorry, Ray. <laughs> but it's true. And, um, and, like, all of a sudden, my life was just full of rejection, and, like, that is a part of your 20s, and your 30s, and your 40s, yeah. and your 50s, and, like, just please be prepared for that because I felt like no one told me that yeah. in ever, right? Yeah. And then like you realize it. You have to pick yourself up and dust yourself all off the time. all the time. It's not yeah. just like when Sinatra sang all those songs about being rejected, like he really was, that was his life experience, right? So, so this, this is- This is your water, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is, um, <laughs> here. here Thank you so much. Yes. Um, it's a good segue. Uh, because clearly, the adults in the audience will back me on this, yeah, right? Yes. Like, 
I feel like this, new, this young generation, like, you're very hard on yourself already. You really are. You're very tough on yourself. And I just want you to be prepared. Like, life is tough, but you're going to be fine. And just prepare, like, just know that it is tough. It is. But you're going to be fine. And it's nothing personal. It's tough. We all, we all go through it. And like, you're gonna be okay. I promise you, you're gonna be okay. But just please know, every one of us like have had bad days and bad weeks and bad months and bad years, every one of us. And I just want you to know that because you're gonna like be 23, 24, 25 and be like, Jesus, this sucks. <laughs> College was so much better. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. Okay? But just remember this moment. And, okay? I, and I love that you said there will be bad years. Oh, because yeah. Because sometimes there are bad years. Decades. Um, <laughs> don't, don't you, like, you're just... Well, if, then if, if it's not so bad, then, yeah. then, then yeah. expectations low.